Hey everyone, it's the infamous Dr. Q here, and this is my Black Ops 2 veteran walkthrough, and this is mission number 5, Fallen Angel. And the good news is this one's a bit easier than the last one. It has a few spots where it's a touch annoying, but the only real difficult bit is actually this opening section here, and even it's not actually all that hard. So you start out, and Harper fixes the claw by kicking it somehow, and you proceed out into this flooded hallway here, and you're basically just going to want to bury yourself in one of the claw's asses. But before you do that, um, I like to go over here and activate the flamethrower on this guy. I'm not sure if that actually helps anything, but, you know, it's a flamethrower. Gotta have that shit. And before I start tailing the claw, um, I go and I, uh, thin these guys out a little bit, pick off who I can, and then advance forward. Now the claw on the left it does a pretty good job of dealing with everyone, so you don't have to worry about your left too much, but there are guys on the right side who will advance and uh, ruin your shit. So you'll want to keep an eye out for them and try and take them out as much as possible. Now there is an option for manually targeting things with the claw, and I don't really find this to be particular, uh, particularly useful for just the infantry, but there is a drone up ahead, and you'll definitely want to target that some bitch because it's a pain in the ass. So you can see the light from the drone, so I get the targeting ready, and there he is, targeted. The claw takes him out pretty quickly, and after that there might still be a few uh, few guys running around. But for the most part, the threat's pretty well neutralized. But still, you want to be careful. <laughs> I got kind of cocky right there and uh, took a couple bullets. Now the only thing that made this section annoying is you, you have to proceed through the entire hallway. There's no like checkpoint halfway. So if you fuck up and get killed, you have to go all the way back to just after that opening cutscene. It's pretty annoying. Now you have to proceed down a flooded street, and it can be a bit touch and go. You just need to be really careful and never try to advance aggressively. Try and work the corners. This stupid fucking NPC is going to block off the corner, so I can't work that corner. So I ended up going out and taking cover behind uh, the car in the middle of the street. Which isn't a bad spot of cover. That's a terrible spot to cover right there. I'm quite surprised they did not die right there. You generally don't want to take cover in the in the middle of the street unless it's something like a car that will actually stop you from getting killed. So there are guys up on the balconies here, and I tried to advance and uh, got killed pretty quickly. Fortunately, there was a checkpoint right there. So you'll want to deal with the guys up on these balconies and start trying to figure out where the people ahead in the street are. It's really difficult, mostly because the, um, you know, that sight sensor that will give you that sort of 3D imaging thing uh, has a pretty limited range, and these water effects make it almost impossible to fucking see anything at any sort of distance. So you just sort of have to keep sticking your head out and hoping you get lucky. It's really not a uh, comfortable place to be <laughs> in veteran difficulty, but not much else you can do. Just pop out, get some shots off, pop back into cover. Now, I'm quite surprised that worked as well as it did. Uh, sort of was out in the open for a while and shot like three people. It's very rare that you get to do that. Because the, uh, the AI on this difficulty is 
exceptionally good at targeting you and uh, really does seem to favor the player character over the NPCs pretty substantially, but that's that's common. The only thing is, it, if more than one person decides to start shooting you at the same time, uh, you die before you can even know what the fuck's going on. So you get up to this corner and some more uh, enemies come in. And I don't know about everyone else, but I've been experiencing a weird graphical glitch around this corner here. Just watch, the camera jerks to the left right bit like that. I don't know what the hell that is. So you want to run forward up to that little objective marker and you've got to push this door open. So get ready to button mash. And you're in. So you just gotta tread down this little alleyway sort of deal here and then make your way to a mandatory stealth section, which is always my favorite. So for the most part, it's not terribly difficult, but Sometimes you'll get spotted by the drones, and it's usually only after the checkpoint, thank fucking god. But you'll get spotted by the drones, and I, I don't know what the hell I did wrong. It says loud noises alert the drones, but it's not like I was shooting anything. I don't know. But, you know, there's a checkpoint there. There's another one shortly after it. Even when you do get spotted by the drone, it doesn't set you back that much. It's just kind of annoying because I don't know what I was doing wrong. I got spotted about three times trying to get through the second part of this. So you pretty much just follow behind Harper. He'll indicate uh, through dialogue when you want to advance. For the most part, you want to stay behind him and follow him to a T, but not exactly. Now here he'll stop right there you can just go ahead and proceed through this building and when you get to the other side a checkpoint triggers now the last thing you hide behind before you get out of this area is a, it's a blue truck and sometimes Harper will move around to the right side of this blue truck and every time every single time I followed him around the right side it got spotted by the drone so generally you want to move around to the left side there is room and you might think like oh well maybe it's because I'm running that caused the loud noise but I mean if you try to just walk through certain parts of it you're going to get spotted by the drone because you're moving too slowly Ready when you it really isn't the uh, most well done section of this game so here it is here's this blue truck like I said, sometimes Harper will move around to the right side. Do not follow him to the right side. Move around to the left. Jobs. 
So now you're in a sewer type area. Monitor the area. Keep me updated. And there's this door on the left. I still I haven't figured out what the point of going in here is. Because usually you'll go in somewhere and you'll get an extra weapon or something. Here there's just some dudes up above. There's not much else to do. Well, if you know if there's anything to do in there, feel free to chime in in the comments. And you move over to this ladder, and then you talk to Tony Todd for a second. And then you have to do a little surveillance on Menendez. So you shoot like a little grapple gun up there. And then you'll have to move forward and stealthily take a guy out. Activities ahead. Looks like we're on the right track. Go. Take the one on the right. On your go. So I mean it's not even really difficult stealth or anything. You just go up behind him and stab his ass. And then you get into position here where you're going to have to take out your little surveillance gadget and find find Menendez. I, th I thought it was that guy there, but it wasn't. It's that guy. This city crumbles for all this. So you just gotta keep pointing this at him to eavesdrop on what he's saying, and you'll have to do that I think three or four times. You have to keep moving around to uh, have a clear line on him, but it's nothing difficult. Moving out of range. Can't get a clear signal. Come on. We'll find a better vantage point. Stay out of the spotlight, man. And then you jump down here and immediately get into the prone position. And then, for whatever reason, the nav mapping and the prone mechanics decided to have a little fight here. We think it was looking for evidence of Chinese involvement in the region. Talking about the down drone. Could they know you just met with Chen Zhao? Of course. The Americans are always watching me. They know even less than they think they do. Damn it. They're moving out of range again. Let's go. And then you move up here and wait for... Wait for Harper to follow you. And... Harper goes in here and stabs this guy. And for whatever reason, I thought you had to go through that door right away. But you got to go over here and eavesdrop some more. See, so yeah, there's a total, I believe, four, four of these little surveillance sections. So he goes and he talks to DeFalco. And you just have to stand there.
so you duck behind here to avoid the drone. Let's go now. We can't lose Menendez. Damn it, we're fucking Sounds like we've lost Menendez near your position. You and then we'll drop him. down to this level here. And just we'll keep following our her. Now there's a part where you have to drop down on uh, behind a truck and kill a guy, and I thought it was right here, but it's actually a little bit further ahead. Yeah, that's the ticket. So you just vault over that, drop down, and you give this guy the uh, bullet tooth Tony special. Then you follow Harper into an interrogation room, not entirely unlike the one seen in the first Black Ops. The drone is very different from the other models. Naturally, they have to have to point this out because we wouldn't have noticed the similarities. A series of security barriers are directly linked to the unit's self-destruct mechanism. Such things are not a concern. The meeting on June 17th will resolve any remaining barriers to our success. Ain't getting anything else with that train in the way. Let's move. At one point in time, the CIA had interrogation rooms like this all over the world. All of them was geared towards some sort of psychological manipulation. God knows the kind of shit that went down back then. Looks like we gotta get wet again. So you keep following Harper, and you gotta swim underwater for a second. surface over here and you get a little cutscene where you discover that apparently Menendez knows what time it is. They should be right above us. Okay, let's try this again. Of course. Not only am I aware of the infiltration. I engineered it. Oh shit. He's on to a section! Look out! Grenade! So just about as soon as you surface from this swimming here, uh, you're under some moderately heavy fire so you need to be prepared for that. I actually kind of forgot about it and uh, just ran around the corner and almost got murdered. Actually shot Harper a little bit there. And here I decided to hang back here because I've been following Harper up to the door and then I took a bunch of damage from a drone that's outside. Which apparently that's just like scripted damage because I'm way the fuck back here and I still get hurt by something. So you take control of the claw and just, uh, just go around murdering everything a little bit. It's good fun. So now you gotta switch to the one that's on the rooftop here. You'll wanna take out the drone and that vehicle down there too. There are people with uh, RPGs on the rooftops to the right and the left that you'll need to take care of as well. 
and just try to take out uh, as many people as, as you possibly can, because you have to run outside shortly after this, though I don't know if anyone, I don't know, I think the sequence might actually just continue until everyone's cleared out, because I've never seen anyone when you go outside. So you head outside and you climb into a vehicle and there's this vehicle section that it's not terrible but the controls just kind of, for steering, the controls just kind of go unresponsive at times. You'll see that pretty clearly. So now you're in control of the drone and you'll want to take out as many people as possible. And you gotta fire a missile at that barrier there. And now it's the vehicle section. Now it can be a little bit difficult. Like I said, the controls for steering sometimes just don't seem to work correctly. And uh, there's just so much going on. It, it can seem a little daunting, but it's really not entirely awful. So here it gives you an option for controlling a drone again, or I believe that's the, the gun that's mounted on top of the vehicle, and I always go for the vehicle mounted gun, if that's what it is. I couldn't even really read it in time. So you get up on the highway here and ramp off of these exit signs that are organized in a ramp-like manner for no discernible reason. And you head through this building. then through this one. Now you'll probably get killed a couple of times, but there are a number of checkpoints, so it really isn't too bad. Now he says go left, and I went left, and he's like go right, and you can see me moving the wheel right, and the fucking car won't turn. I gotta go under that there, and now I'm stuck I don't know what the hell it is. You can see him turning the wheel left and the car will not move left. So there is a chance at a uh, trophy or an achievement here. I think we totally missed that, but it doesn't really seem to matter all that much. Towards the end when a drone collides with a helicopter, it sets off a series of explosions and then there's this pipe that's spouting out flames and you need to head, head under the pipe like where the source of the fire is and this prevents Harper from getting his face burned and you get the hey good looking trophy or achievement which it does actually I mean it, it, for the rest of the game since I didn't rewind the story uh, Harper's face is burned and people make reference to this So you have to go left a little bit to get out of the way of that water tower and immediately just start cutting to the right. We'll go under it there. Harper's like, oh, I had a nut hair on my face. And you're like, what, Harper? It's like, never mind. There's our evac site. And then, hey, good looking. Oh, shit. Now what? So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.